my name is Fiona and today I want to talk to you about Always Discreet and their pelvic power exercises. So just a bit about me, um, I am a mother of two boys who were quite big babies, £9.8 and £9.11 and ever since then my pelvic floor health and my bladder control has never been the same, I'm just being honest. Um, so when Always Discreet contacted me and asked me if I'd like to try out their pelvic power exercises and to have a consultation with a pelvic health physiotherapist who was a lovely lady named Helen Keeble, I said why not, let's give it a go and see how it can improve things for me and I am delighted to say that it really did improve things for me um, before. I did this with always discreet, I was always rushing to the toilet. I just thought that this was the way that my life was going to be forever. But Helen assured me that I was not too far gone and that by practicing simple pelvic floor exercises each day that I would be able to improve the strength of my pelvic floor and my bladder control and she was right. So for me I was doing pelvic floor exercises sitting like I am now but it would give me kind of a queasy feeling in my stomach so Helen told me to practice them by lying down. So I did this each night before I went to bed and it really helped me overcome that queasy feeling and it's quite easy for me to do now. I also wanted to share some clips from my consultations with Helen as well just so you could hear what we discussed and what advice she gave me. And go. Yeah. But in order to retrain that, which we definitely can, okay. we have to have really good pelvic floor muscles. I think underneath is all of our pelvic floor muscle. Okay. So if this was, as I'm sitting up right now, I'm sitting like this. Like if this was the chair, then you sit on your pelvic floor like this, basically. Yeah. And so if I tip it this way, so you can see on the inside, hopefully you can see that okay. Yeah. Just... All, of the, all of the pink. So all of that pink is pelvic floor muscle. And it's a bit like a hammock type shape. Mm -hmm. And yeah, that's really important for some of its functions. But I'll just show you the outside layer because we have this main internal layer, which is the bigger of the layers. Then we have a smaller external layer. So if I turn it this way, yeah, the, like the darker pink layer, which is a bit smaller, goes around. So the urethra is there, and then the vaginal opening, and then also the back passage here. Yeah. So it's basically like all the pelvic floor is just in between our legs and inside that pelvic cavity. And because of where it is and how it wraps around all of our holes, it has just has really important functions. So you saw Helen give me all the knowledge about the pelvic floor in the first consultation and this is our follow-up consultation and you can hear how much that knowledge has benefited me. I am doing between 20 and 30 each night before I go to sleep. Right. I'm in class of 10 and I counted the other day and I was able to hold until about seven seconds. So definitely a lot better and notice, noticing a lot of positive changes. There's no leaks or anything. I just feel a lot better. That is amazing. Oh, I'm God. really, really happy, especially with the not running to the toilet every few seconds. So Helen explained that you should be doing the exercises from behind. So kind of as if she explained, um, as if you are holding in wind. So you clench and then pull up that's how you exercise and then you take a deep breath in between to reset the muscle and then do it again so I was doing it in reps of 10 and then she told me once I had you know perfected that that standing up is the ultimate goal for doing these exercises so you stand and you do that same clench and pull sensation with the muscle and your goal is to try and hold that for at least 10 seconds so I started doing this while I was brushing my teeth because again, this is a time of day where I'm doing an activity I have to do. So incorporating the pelvic floor exercises within this is not taking any time out of my day. And it's great then because it means that I will do it. So I was doing it twice daily and I saw a huge improvement. I was able to go on days out without having to rush to the toilet. We went to the beach one day, it was five hours between me going to the bathroom and then having to go again which just sounds like nothing to other people but for me it was a huge improvement. I was able to sleep through the night without having to get up and go to the toilet. I was able to go to sleep without rushing to the bathroom multiple times to make sure that my bladder was set for the night. Um, 
And I should say, if you're experiencing th these things, that you should contact your GP um, for advice and for something that can help you. Um, and there are ways that this can be helped. And, you know, for me, doing the pelvic floor exercises was something which I had never really done before. I had kind of, you know, just let it go. You're taught about it when we're pregnant that we should be doing these things, but life just gets busy and you don't do them. But Helen really did teach me how important the pelvic floor muscle is for the body. I mean, it's the cradle, it's like this. It's holding up all your organs. And I had experienced a drop sensation, which was quite worrying for me, which she said could be like the organs shifting. And obviously I'm only 30. I don't want that happening. And I want to do all I can to combat that. And thankfully, the pelvic floor exercises in the space of the six weeks that I have been collaborating with Always Discreet have really helped me. And I, like, I'm not just saying that for the video purposes. They really, really have improved the quality of my life. I'm able to do the school runs without feeling like I need to rush home to go to the toilet. I mean, it's just been amazing for me. And I am so thankful that this has worked for me. And I am so thankful to Helen for passing on her knowledge to me and explaining it in such a simple way. And I hope this video... I'm explaining it just as well as she did. And also by doing these exercises in conjunction with the pelvic power by always discrete exercises, which are 20 minutes long, they're low impact and can be done at home. You really are strengthening your pelvic floor muscle and you know, making it work as best it can. And I think that the pelvic floor muscle is a muscle that people just forget about and they just don't realize the importance of it, but it really is so important for keeping control of your pelvic floor health and your bladder as well. So I'm going so to show this you. This is the site for the pelvic power by always discrete exercises. And as you can see, Fern is there. And these exercises were developed by a personal trainer and by Helen Keeble as well, the pelvic health physiotherapist. And there's just um, some information there. And here are the four exercises and the videos are great. And I'm gonna show you one now, just to show you how simple the exercises are and how you can do them at home. And as you can see, all they have are the mats and a cushion under their heads for doing this as well. Really simple to do. And if I fast forward, it's just lifting up your bottom and squeezing. So as you can see, the pelvic power videos are great, so easy to do at home. They are free and just solo impact. Anyone can do them. And in conjunction with your daily pelvic floor exercises as well that you can do like I do, brushing your teeth, going to bed, or whenever you have free time during the day, um, they really can make a big difference to your pelvic floor health and your control over your bladder too. And Always Discreet carried out research and found that 38% of women in Ireland don't know how to strengthen their pelvic floor and that 1 in 10 women who have been exercising more regularly at home have experienced bladder leaks for the first time or are experiencing more leaks. And 74% of women have said that they have never seen an exercise dedicated to strengthening the pelvic floor. So I think the pelvic power exercises by Always Discreet are really unique in that sense and are a great help for women as well. And also 71% of women have said that they have more time to exercise, but 69% have not been exercising their pelvic floor. So I don't know if it's that women don't know about the benefits of the pelvic floor, but it really is so important and you can really see huge improvements in such a short space of time, just like I did. In six weeks, I went from having to go to the toilet multiple times before I went to sleep or multiple times before I left the house or searching for a toilet when we were on our days out, like in places where there were no toilets and I had to hold on and it was so hard to do. But now I'm able to go places and not go to the bathroom for like five hours and that might seem like nothing to other people, but it means so much to me and it means that my life is just that little bit easier without having to worry about my pelvic floor and the strength it has to contain my bladder. So thank you so much for watching and I hope that if you do try the always discreet pelvic power exercises and the daily pelvic um, floor exercises as well, that you see benefits like I did.